we are um, we're gonna make this happen. This is this will be the first time for me to officiate a wedding. I'm, I'm really excited about it, and I'm I'm very nervous about it too, to to be honest with it with you all. But um, so Gummy Jean just looks beautiful. But I'm gonna have to start calling her Alexis for this video because she made me promise. She's laughing at me now. I promise during the vows I won't say Gumby Jean on purpose. If it happens, somebody somebody smack my fingers or something. Um, so we're uh, we're getting ready now. So people might be walking by and and uh, saying hi. And uh, so get ready for that. You want to come say hi to everybody? That's right. I am wearing a tie. This person is Alexis, she told me. She's worked for years in my I didn't I never knew her name. He forced me to be Gumby. So I just eventually I didn't even argue. I just went with it. She just did it. <laughs> so let's get everybody to come by. All right, all right, all right. All right. That's okay. it. All right. Y'all get ready. It'll be happening in a bit. <laughs> Good looking men's ring right there. Beautiful ladies' ring. That's really pretty. It's amazing what these rings are going to represent in a few minutes. It's a special time, you know? It really is. We'll light it up. Um, we're not going to play. Let, should we turn off the music for now? Or turn it way down? And so, um, I'm Dr. Gilmore. I want to welcome all of you here to my home tonight, to my darling wife's home and our family's home. And we've known Alexis for many years, and we think of her like a daughter. We really do. We love her very much. Aww. I'm already going to cry. I'm <laughs> I'm, uh, and so, we'll thank all of like all of you like family too. And uh, I'm so glad that all of you made it. I don't see Lil' Bacon. She's four minutes <laughs> We are not gonna start without Lil' Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Ava. Which is Ava. Which is Ava. <laughs> she's, she's at okay, so the story about Lil' Bacon, how'd she get her nickname? Okay, so one morning, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> so, my, my clinic area is down the hall toward the back of the clinic, and right around from us is the, the break room or the kitchen area where we do our mealtime and lunch and that kind of thing. And so one morning, I heard this strange noise like somebody's frying bacon. Now, this was back when I was still eating meat. I'm vegan now, but I was very interested in the sound of somebody <laughs> frying bacon. <laughs> and I walked in, and there she was, and she was doing something over the sink that made a sound like frying bacon. I said, what are you? Are you cooking bacon? She said, no, doc, I'm just doing this. And I said, huh. Well, it sounded like you were making bacon. So I'm just going to call you little bacon. I'm just a little bacon. I was very upset about it. She's called little bacon, but there's actually no, no bacon. bacon. There's no bacon. <laughs> you don't have to have a real reason to get a nickname in my clinic. <laughs> just like you don't have to be responsible to be blamed if you've done something wrong. <laughs> so, so have you told everybody, you know, that Alexis works for you and that's where the relationship started? Alexis has, Alexis started out, um, she was, now I think you were already at the clinic when I got there. Were you already there or did you come into the lab after I was already there? Yeah, after. So I'd already been there a year or two, and my my medical assistant was gone, Gonzo. Okay, and so Gonzo uh, was my medical assistant, and Alexis, young Jean, good friends, went to school together, and Alexis was working in the lab. And well, time came for my medical assistant. She wanted to go back to nursing school. She wanted to go to nursing school. She wanted to go back. And, and so uh, we started the search to look for a medical assistant, and turns out we have a medical assistant working in the lab. And so somebody said, "Why don't you? Why don't you have Alexis? Why don't you have Gummy Jean?" I said, I said, "Wait a minute!" I said, "Is she an MA?" And they said, "Well, yeah." I said, "Bring her over here right now." I said. 
would you like to be my MA? She said, yes. <laughs> what are you waiting for? So I said, you're hired. That was it. That's, that was the whole thing right there. All right. Okay, the baby's made it. Ah. I love y'all. Right. Congratulations, Alexis and Dan. Yeah, there you go. Are we ready to get started? Yes. Big day, huh? Yeah. Okay. Everybody, everybody comfortable? Yes, sir. No. Okay. So we already lit the candles. Moms lit candles ceremoniously. So each one lit one candle. And when we're finished, we're going to take one of those candles or both of those candles. And we're going to put them together. And we're going to light the one big candle in the middle. As a, are you hot? No. You get warm up? Don't catch on fire. I don't want that kind of YouTube video. <laughs> that would be so many days, though. <laughs> so, um, since I haven't done this before, so you all bear with me. I have everything I need to say written down here, so we're just going to do it, okay? All right. All right. Friends, we're gathered here today in the sight of God and the presence of friends and loved ones. Celebrate one of life's greatest moments. We're here to give recognition to the beauty of love that is shared between Benjamin and Alexis as they complete their family in holy matrimony. Marriage is a covenant not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, and with a deep realization of the obligations and responsibilities. Marriage is the moment where your hearts and souls are joined for eternity. So if we could say a little prayer. I get y'all to bow your heads with me. Y'all can look at Heavenly Father, we humbly bow before you today, praising you, Lord, and your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask for your blessings upon Benjamin and Alexis as we celebrate this momentous occasion in their lives. Grant them happiness and contentment as their two lives become one, as they create a new family and explore the depths of their love for one another. Bless their families and friends and the relationships which have supported, strengthened, and sustained them throughout their lives. Bless their home as a place of love and of peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 So, step back here. The joining of two hearts as husband and wife is a commitment like no other. It offers opportunities for sharing and for personal growth that no other human relationship can equal. A husband and wife are each other's best friends, confidants, lovers, teachers, listeners and critics the bond between a husband and wife deepens and enriches every facet of life happiness is fuller and commitments are stronger marriage also encourages new life and new experiences and finds new ways of expressing love through the ups and downs of life benjamin and alexis as your journey begins as husband and wife I would ask you both to remember to always treat each other with respect and remind yourself often of what brought you here today. So I need you to face one another and hold hands. Alexis, do you take Benjamin to be your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward to love honor and cherish in sickness and health forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live I do. <laughs> benjamin do you take alexis to be your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward to love honor and cherish in sickness and health forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live i do to ask for the rings, but I have them. <laughs> Please ask for the ring. The ring, an unbroken circle, represents unending love. As often as either of you look upon these rings, may you be reminded of this moment and the love you have promised one another. Benjamin, I'm going to hand you this ring. Please place this ring on Alexis' finger and then repeat after me. Alexis, I give you this ring. Alexis, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. 
and that I'm choosing to share, and that I'm choosing to share my life's journey with you. My life's journey with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring with the pledge to love you. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. I need to. Alexis, please place this ring on Benjamin's finger and repeat after me. Benjamin, I give you this ring. Benjamin, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And that I'm choosing to share. And that I'm choosing to share. My life's journey with you. My life's journey with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. With the pledge to love you. With the pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. Benjamin and Alexis, I want to wish you both much love and happiness as you begin your new journey. Remember to keep lots of laughter in your life, and love will never be far behind. Benjamin and Alexis, you have pledged your faith to each other in the company of your family and friends and in the sight of God Almighty. By the power vested in me by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Benjamin, you now kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Side. We'll let the new the, the new husband and wife, I almost said bride and groom, husband and wife, I guess you'll light your candle. day huh thanks all of you for uh, for joining us for this big event and uh, we're going to be breaking up soon and uh, getting into some cake and some goodies and, uh, once this video ends if you want to leave some well wishes to, to ben and alexis i'm sure they would love to hear from you and uh, what an exciting day what an honor what, what a great experience just weddings are just wonderful times so thanks all of you for, for tuning in and uh, hope you have a great weekend. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to end there. Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it can actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing, I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day, I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day, it makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it, it's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon.
Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.